Have you ever come across the term thermal throttling when doing research to buy a new laptop or other device? I mean, it sounds kind of cool, right? Like, yeah, when this, you know, phone gets all thermal up in here, you can uh, crank that throttle and it's all fast, like, Whoa! No, that's not it. Thermal throttling is a great technology, but if you're experiencing it, in most cases there is something wrong with your device, its design, or the conditions in which you're using it. I'll explain what it is in a moment, but first, history lesson time. In the old days, you know, before Gangnam Style, Justin Bieber, and much more importantly than either of those other two things, the Pentium 3 1 gigahertz with speed step technology, computer processors operated at one frequency and one frequency only with the power consumption and heat output that came along with that. If you didn't put a heat sink on it or a cooling fan failed in your system, it could heat up so much that it would literally burn itself to death. It wasn't all bad though. Out of this negative characteristic of old PC stuff came the popular pastime of geeks with obsolete hardware, creating blog posts and videos about cooking eggs and other food items on their CPUs. So what the heck happened to that? Well, today's microprocessors, not just the ones in your computer, but the ones in your phone or other devices as well, are super smart. They are monitoring their temperature and power use hundreds of times per second and adjusting their performance, so the frequency that they run at, on the fly with features like Intel SpeedStep and NVIDIA GPU Boost. That means that if the chip's power consumption, or in the case of thermal throttling, temperature gets too high, it will simply throttle back its performance and prevent itself from dying a quick and potentially delicious mm. death. Now I mentioned that in most cases you shouldn't observe thermal throttling with a device that's functioning correctly, but this isn't always true. Some thin and light laptops, and especially some phones, are actually designed to only be able to withstand the heat of, let's say, the graphics processor or the central processor being fully utilized at one time, and if you hit both of them at the same time, one or both will thermal throttle to keep the temperatures of your device under control, because higher temperatures are A, unpleasant, for the user's hand, and B, detrimental to the short and long-term lifespan of the components inside the phone, especially the battery. So in these cases, thermal throttling is a way to preserve some functionality during heavy use in ultra-thin compact devices, rather than allowing the device to just shut down entirely in order to save itself. Speaking of functionality, lynda.com is today's episode sponsor. Okay, that was a terrible segue. Yes, it was, Nick! But lynda.com is a genuinely awesome service. They have thousands of courses available in their library, each of which is taught by an industry expert, and they add more every week. Learning on lynda.com is extremely flexible. You can pick and choose what you want to learn course by course, or if you have a general interest in one area, you can head on over to lynda.com in the playlist center and learn from one of the more than 100 mixtapes that they have available for a wide variety of topics, from photography to business to music production. And best of all, their service is very affordable with plans starting at only $25 a month. But they don't expect you to buy their service before you get a chance to try it. If you head over to lynda.com slash techquickie, they will hook you up with a seven day free trial, which gives you full access to their knowledge smorgasbord. I never thought I would use the word smorgasbord in one of these videos. Guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles, and don't forget to subscribe to the video and also share it with your friends who need to know what thermal throttling is. They need to know.